Hey y'all, it's Rosie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I make my spicy deep fried catfish. You are going to love this. I love it, so I hope you love it anyway, but let me show you how it's done. So in this bowl here, I'm going to start pouring in my favorite hot sauce, or one of my favorites, and then I'm going to start adding in some eggs. And FYI, I'm going to crack open one of these eggs, and one of the shells gets in there, but I did catch it. Just FYI, I caught the eggshell and I removed it. Now I'm going to mix everything. So now we can start adding our fish in there. I'm using catfish nuggets. Uh, these are fillets that are usually in the frozen section. You can use the regular fillets from the uh, butcher or seafood part uh, market if you want, but these are cheaper. So that's why I'm using them, and I like them. But anyway, in this bowl, I'm going to add in some self-rising flour. I'm also adding in some yellow cornmeal. And then I'm going to start sprinkling in some Cajun seasoning. And you can use whatever Cajun seasoning you like, okay? Now we're going to mix everything until it's well combined. And let's grab our fish, and we're going to coat all of those nuggets. And you can coat them twice if you want. Uh, you can coat them once, okay? I did it once, but you can coat them twice if you want. Once you're done coating all the nuggets, you're going to just let the fish sit for about five minutes to make sure everything is nicely sticking to the fish. And then we're going to deep fry this. So I'm going to fry my fish in peanut oil. Y'all got me stuck on peanut oil. I love it. So yeah, I'm going to blame that on you. So anyway, if you have another oil that you want to fry with, that's fine. But I'm using peanut oil. Okay, so I'm just going to fry my fish until it's nice and golden brown. You can fry it to your preference. Just make sure the fish is completely done. And this works for me, so I'm just going to remove it out of my oil. Place it on a paper towel lined cookie sheet. Let it cool down until it's safe enough to eat. And then you know what? I'm ready to serve. I served my fish with some fries. I made garlic fries at that, and you know what? I was good to go. Don't forget that you can get the exact measurements from my blog, iHeartRecipes.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already.